using connectedness is to try and bring people together uh, to exchange ideas. And it's about uh, creating um, uh, an environment and a place and a space where there's civility, mutual respect, civil discourse, uh, where we learn to agree to disagree and help people understand that we all have more in common than we do differences. And to the extent that we can do that and connect people, um, what we find is that when we're trying to solve for a problem, as long as I understand that I'm not the smartest person in the room and that all of us are smarter than any one of us, when we connect people together, we can get to the best solution. You know, my dad um, used to give me a number of um, uh, leadership lessons, and he used to always say, um, separate the person from the professional. And he said, you know, when you're trying to solve a problem, when you're trying to get something done, he said, when someone brings you something, uh, an issue, whether you like them or not, whether they hate your guts or not, the first question you ask yourself is, are they right? And if they're right, you deal with that. You separate the person out of that. And I think that's what connectedness is all about because uh, you know, I'm just a guy who likes to get things done. And the way that you get things done is that you bring people around the table who just want to get things done. And uh, to the extent that we can connect people together um, to make that happen, then you know, we're only limited by our imaginations. You know, tell me when in the history of the world, uh, as we know it, when a group of people have come together, rowing in the same direct direction, marching to the beat of the same drummer, have decided to achieve a certain goal and objective, and they couldn't do it. And that's what I think it's all about, bringing people together, picking a common goal, a common dream, uh, a common aspiration, or whatever it may be, and let's go take the hill. Let's conquer it. Let's make it happen.